It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've just realised that pitting these two beers together is pitting the same brewery together, if you like. On my left and your right is Green King's Abbott Ale Reserve. And it's coming in at 6.5% ABV in a 500ml clear glass bottle. And on my right, your left, is Old Crafty Hen by Moreland, which is owned by Green King. It's an oak-aged strong ale at 6.5% ABV. So I'm kind of versing these two beers together. I'm seeing which is the best one. But there's a part of me that's wondering, could it be the same beer? Abbott being 6.5, Old Crafty Hen being 6.5 both in clear glass bottles, both in very, very similar looking bottles, apart from the old crafty hen's got more than written around the neck of it. Gold bottle cap on the Abbott, black bottle cap with the Moreland on the old crafty hen. So uh, let's get into this then. Let's get these beers out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. I'm doing an, another nighttime review. I've been um, reviewing some beers in the night recently and I've started doing it again in the evenings because I've just realised that I'm much more excited for beer in the night rather than, well, a lot of you know um, I was kind of going about my beer reviewing at nine o'clock in the morning, um, only a few months ago. And that was because I wanted to kind of wrap all of the editing up, all of the thumbnails, all of the... Everything else that's involved in reviewing beer by five o'clock. I wanted, I wanted to do a nine to five, a normal kind of job. What I, was, or what I find now with doing beer reviews in the night again is that I'm up till kind of 10, 11, sometimes 12 o'clock editing videos and, and, and whatnot. Um, it swings and roundabouts, I suppose. I am enjoying the beer more at night. You know, making your toast, eating your toast and then getting straight into a beer review. Um, it's, it's a little tough sometimes. So, uh, beer in a glass on the, where are we, Abbottale Reserve. I should concentrate now, shouldn't I? The Abbottale Reserve has got a one to two finger white head with an amber colour in the glass. And I'd say the old crafty hen is slightly darker ever so slightly darker in the colour but that's got a nice one finger white head as well <clears throat> right as we have the abbott ale reserve in my hand let's get straight into this then let's get the aroma it's clear there's no bottle conditioning going on here. It's been filtered out. It's nice and clear. Let's get the aroma. I do like these strong ales. I really do. I like the aromas. I like the taste of them. Biscuits coming through, lovely biscuits. A little bit of caramel malt. A little bit of licorice. Dare I say it, a touch of vanilla. It smells good. 
Uh, this is on offer in Tesco's, four bottles for £6.50 currently. Same with the old crafty hand. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Whoa. That's a good beer. I like that. I like the reserve. Abatel reserve, pretty decent. Nutty, biscuity, bready, licorice. A little bit of a warming sensation as the beer slides down the throat into the pit of the stomach. Nice wrapping, kind of big, bold bitterness on the back end. Yeah, that's good. Let's try the oak aged old crafty hen. Little bit more of an astringent bitterness. Little bit more of an astringent bitterness coming through on the old crafty hen. And I noticed that with the old speckled hen versus the Fuller's London Pride. If you want to watch that video, that's on our channel too. Old, old speckled hen, old crafty hen. Yeah, more of an astringent bitterness. I was about to say they're very, very similar. I was about to say that they're almost kind of identical beers and then that kind of astringent bitterness coming through on the old crafty hen. Still very nice, very, very similar, biscuity, bready, nutty, hoppy. But yeah, a touch of an astringent bitterness coming through on the old crafty hen. Interesting, interesting, because of course, from the same brewery. Creamy, rich, nutty, biscuity, bready. Yeah, and there's that bitterness again, just kind of building and building and building. And it's quite, oof, it's quite, uh, quite a big bitterness on the old crafty head. Let's get back into the Abatel Reserve then. I prefer it. I prefer the Abatel Reserve. It's... For whatever reason, both beers come from the same brewery. For me, the Abatel feels a little bit more refined. It's a funny one, that. It really is. I mean, the temptation would be two beers, very similar in colour, Green King, old, uh, Moreland Old Crafty Hen being slightly darker, both 6.5% ABV, both in the clear glass bottles. You, you know, there's, there's that kind of temptation to think that they're both the same beer. But, but I don't believe it is. I don't believe it is. I really don't. I reckon definitely the, the, the Abatel is more of a refined 
beer. Somehow, a little bit of licorice flavours coming through now. Touch of vanilla. Good rounded mouthfeel. Lovely body to the beer. Yes, I'm definitely preferring the Abbott. So let's rate them. Um, Abbott Ale Reserve. I quite like that. I do. I like that. That's a... I'm going to say an 8 out of 10. Old Crafty Hen, I'm going to say 7 out of 10. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.